Hello everyone. Good evening to all. Today with us, Dr. Pradeep Kumar Ponda. He did his PhD from Changgong University, Taiwan. And then he moved to uh, uh, South Korea for uh, his uh, postdoc. And currently he is working at Taiwan in Yanje University. Uh, he has uh, more than five year experience at Taiwan. So uh, I'm sure he's the right person who can able to uh, give us the idea for higher study at Taiwan. What are the different types of fellowship available at Taiwan? So let's welcome to Digital Science Foundation to Dr. Pradeep Kumar Panda. Welcome Dr. Pradeep Kumar Panda. So uh, whoever, one, one of the more uh, important point also, who are interested to know about the culture, about Taiwan, the Indians, how uh, their uh, life, their uh, uh, going on at Taiwan, those who are interested, so they can also visit their, um, his blog channel, MBR uh, Udia blog Taiwan. So uh, for the cultural, if you are interested, you can visit uh, that uh, channel, you can share and subscribe. So he will definitely also uh, tell about this more in detail. Uh, so he here uh, in this uh, video, we will understand what are the different types of fellowship available at Taiwan and those who are interested to do higher study at Taiwan for them, what are the opportunity available. So uh, he will explain us in detail. Uh, so welcome, uh, Dr. Panda. So thank you, Dr. Arpan, for your kind introduction. So let's start our topic. So today's topic is fellowship available in Taiwan for higher study. So let's discuss about it. So let me share my PPT first. Is my PPT is visible to everyone? My PPT is visible to everyone, Dr. Naik? Uh, yes. Yes, let's start. So today's topic discussion is what are the fellowships available in Taiwan for higher study? So in this topic, we have discussed elaboratory with uh, fellowship is available in Taiwan for higher study. So before I start, I have to introduction about the myself. So myself, Dr. Ponda. So recently I am the postdoctoral fellow, fellow in Yanja University, Taiwan. So I have done my PhD in Taiwan also, and I have some work experience in Yanja University, South Korea. So besides my research, I sometimes I like to make the video for the audience. So my and that video I upload in my YouTube channel. So my YouTube channel is MBR Uriya blog. You can see here. So if you want to know more about the things, you can visit my channel. So and about your doubts about fellowship is you can reach me by following my Instagram and Facebook. And my Insta and Facebook name also the MVR Odia blog and, and uh, Facebook also in MVR Odia blog. Let's discuss about our today's hot topic. So today's hot topic is fellowship available in Taiwan for higher study. So, so this is the content we have today discussed. So why higher study in Taiwan and how to apply. So this is very important and how to get this opportunity and how to find suitable universities in Taiwan and how to find advisor in Taiwan, scholarship opportunity in Taiwan. And briefly, I will discuss about food, culture and life in Taiwan. Uh, let me point in my... No, no, no. Uh, pointer option. Okay. So let's go to next slide. So first we have discussed about the 
higher study in Taiwan. Mainly, higher study in Taiwan. Why? Why we can study in Taiwan? Now, there are five region, main region. Besides this main region, there are many other region also. So we can focus on the main region, enough resource for research and smooth daily life. And Taiwan is the safest country in the world and uh, easy to find the position with university scholarship. And there are some universities, that is seven universities in Taiwan, that is world-class university, and that seven university within the 500 US ranking. So, so next, beside this main region, there are a lot of region I told. So higher study means in Taiwan, we have to do the master degree or PhD degree. So in natural science also, you can do the PhD degree or master degree or any technical like uh, engineering line also we can do. So next, go to the universities. So mainly I have selected top 10 university in Taiwan. So first university is National Taiwan University, which is located in the Taipei area. So this Taipei area is the Taiwan's north part. So its world QS ranking is 69 in 2024. And next is National Yangmin Chaotung University. So its QS ranking is 217. And this is also uh, situated in Taipei and in Sinchu. There are two campuses in this university. And National Chang Chenggang University, that is NCKU, which is located in the Tainan city. That is the, we can say that south part, not pure south, uh, towards the south part. And QS ranking is two to eight. And National Tsinghua University, this is located in the Sinchu, that is in the east part of the Taiwan. And QS ranking is two, three, three. And National Taiwan University of Science and Technology, that is 387 ranking. And this is located in, in the Taipei area. National Taiwan Normal University, that is also located in Taipei area. National Sanyat University, that is located in the south part, Kaohsiung and Tainan in between them. And Taipei Medical University, that is located in the Taipei area. National Chengche University, that is located in the also in Taipei area. So major good universities are located in the Taipei area and some good universities are located in the south part. And uh, in Taiwan, uh, Taipei is the capital of the Taiwan. So as it is capital and major universities are located in Taipei. So there are no problem for the daily life and resource for the research. So next we can think about how to get this opportunity, but how to apply. So for the higher study, we must need a prospective supervisor. We need to find a supervisor or advisor, we can say. So related to your background. So how we can find now through email in any university, as I mentioned, or you can go to other universities also. Those university can hire the international students with scholarship. Then go to the university applicants requirement. Mainly these four documents need for the application. It should, uh, the applicant should have the passport, highest degree certificate, and highest mark sheet or transcript. So transcript is more preferable in Taiwan. And study plan, CV, autography. Besides these four categories, uh, yeah, documents, you need to prepare other documents as per the university requirement. And each university requirement is slightly different. So you have to go to each university's uh, website and get the co and collect the information what are the requirements of the application. If you have any doubts, so you can email directly to the concern department. So each university have international FIRs. So you can directly email. Otherwise, you can contact to anyone who is studying in Taiwan. So he or she can guide more uh, quickly or more perfectly. So for scholarship, you need to choose which scholarship you need to apply. So later we can discuss what are the scholarship available for higher studies in Taiwan. So next, we go to the 
how to find the advisor in as i stated that in previous slide so we can find the advisor through email but how to know my, this advisor but this pro professor is good for my field so you have to check their background and check their publication details mainly you have to check the uh, uh, respective advisors five years paper in scopus database and check how he is publishing by how he is working in his lab apart from this you can check the advisor's profile in website sometime advisor profile in website is not update recently so for paper you have to go to scopus database if you know about his group or uh, yeah you can go to the university advisors uh, profile by the university website so this is the time perfect time to apply for the taiwan's fellowship or uh, uh, if you are interested you can apply for the taiwan uh, I mean study in Thai, higher study in taiwan so this is the main uh, universities who are hiring the international students for the higher studies so as i said national taiwan university it is only required in fall semester there is no applicant in the spring semester uh, as you know if you apply now you can enter in the fall because now is the spring time if you apply in the fall time you can enter in the spring spring uh, uh, fall time so this is the reverse so only this is the this university is not hiring in the fall semester no, spring semester so other universities such as national Tsinghua university is is application is going on so application deadline is 28 september 2023 this information also you can get respective university website in details so national sanyat university 13 september like this all universities i have put here their application deadline accordingly you need to prepare and apply so this source i have taken from the educare taiwan facebook page and this facebook page also helpful uh, for your general doubts and you can get more information about the taiwan so so the main part is uh, resource by scholarship or financial how you can get the scholarship there are various scholarships so one scholarship is university scholarship university will provide the you scholarship then you can study here so another is government scholarship so university scholarship is 90 percent you can get but government scholarship uh, many students are not getting there are limited quota uh, in government also different sectors suppose moe taiwan scholarship minister of education taiwan scholarship mofa minister of uh, foreign affairs and taiwan icdf scholarship elite scholarship program so government have a different different scholarship but there is a limited quota so most of the students in taiwan getting the university scholarship so you can apply university scholarship through uh, online during your application so next we have to go to some other details so Suppose one question uh, coming to my mind that university scholarship and government scholarship so among them where we will get a higher amount of higher fellowship like the amount or say same like for both so each university have a different scholar different amount of scholarship it depends so suppose uh, national taiwan university scholarship is higher than government scholarship sometime other university lower than government scholarship so another point i want to add here university scholarship university will get and apart from this, after you get the approval by after your application is approved, then you can also apply the research assistant scholarship through the professor. So you can get money from the research assistant or as well as university scholarship. Generally, most of the students are getting both scholarship so that you can survive in Taiwan. There is a no problem for the financial. So next we will go to next we will go to food culture and life in Taiwan. So here food is a totally different than India. So here 
food is like uh, sometimes boiled food or no spicy. And uh, I can say this is almost similar as Chinese culture. So, and culture is traditional and the people are very conservative, like most other Asian countries. But uh, they are, uh, Taiwanese are a little bit higher, means uh, helping mind friendly than other Asian cultures. And I can say overall better life here than India. So then next go to the one more big problem is students are facing here language barrier, language problem. So this is most important point, but inside the university and uh, other means inside the lab, you can easily talk with the, uh, other friends, means local friends in English. So thank you very much. So now we can discuss in question and answer session. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Dr. Pradeep Kumar Panda. So really you elaborately uh, told about the detail that how one student can approach, how one student can write a mail and what are the documents he should, he or she should include. So all this in detail and the ranking about the ranking, the top 10 universities available at Taiwan. So all this in detail. Uh, you explain uh, so the all the viewers uh, whoever see this video so he, they will be benefited uh, so thank you very much uh, for uh, for your uh, uh, information the uh, like a brief information about the opportunities available at taiwan uh, so <clears throat> Uh, and uh, one more thing that uh, like a, like a, uh, apart from university fellowship and also government fellowship and also is there an availability about the professor if you want then whether the professor can take the them or no yes 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 professor will also provide some amount so it depends upon professor and it depends upon your performance so one more point i wa i want to add i forgot it so this is the fellowship and also you need to pay the tuition fee and in fellowship tuition fee will be waived for international students. Most of the international students are getting tuition fee waived because this is the large amount. So they, it means that you don't need to pay any money to university for the tuition fee. You just pay the, uh, pay the basic fee your student's insurance fee, that is very less. Okay, once again, uh, I'd yes. like to thank uh, very much uh, Dr. Ponda. Uh, so really, it will be very helpful for everyone. And those who the viewers, those who are interested to know about the Taiwan culture, about how Indian life is Taiwan, all this in detail, then please subscribe the MBR blog, Udia blog Taiwan. So you can able to get uh, so many uh, cultural information about the Indians and how Indians life is Taiwan. So all in detail, you can get the information uh, on that blog channel. So thank you very much for your information. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, okay.